All right guys, so we are in Rakusai Park. This is a bamboo forest and we came here today to explore and learn a little bit more about the bamboo culture. So these are the different varieties of bamboo that you can find here. Watch it. So right now we're discussing the plan for tomorrow morning. So they will pass our hotel at before we indulge in this amazing meal. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be very early tomorrow around 6 a.m. so we can catch um, they walk the presenters slowly, or the performers they as they get ready. So Should be cool. Guys, today's official day that Gangyo Doritsu, the parade starts, and I'm really looking forward to it. We are in Hakone, and it's absolutely incredible. There's so many people around us. Uh, I've been seeing samurais. I've been seeing, I've been seeing geishas. Um, there's a lot to look forward to, and the food, so much food, and it's free. I mean, who wouldn't want to be here right now, right? I know that everyone is here right now, so I will go and sneak somewhere else and find some other spots to shoot. Um, come with me. I think I can hear a waterfall. Let's see if it's one. Okay. Alright, so I'm choosing a 7 to 14 millimeter because it's wide enough to capture the whole scenery, although I'm really close. I want to shoot that really interesting street right there with all the um, advertising and food and it's just really cool. I think when it gets a little bit darker you will get a lot more vibrancy in the colors. It's beginning to rain a little bit so if the ground's wet, whew. Photographer's dream, right? Photographer's dream.
Good morning, everyone. You're probably all wondering where we are currently. We are at Akita Homba Dojo. This is the headquarters of the uh, modern Japanese defensive martial art practice. We're going to be speaking with the master today and really dive deep into finding out what this martial art is. So uh, with me, I have sitting the current uh, doshu of uh, Aikido Academy here. Um, we have Murutu Oishiba. Hey. Ooh, Oishiba. Uh, thank you again for having us here. I have some very simple questions for you that uh, I'm sure many of us are wanting to know the answers to. Um, the first one that comes to my mind is in Aikido, there are many elements that are related to the Japanese culture. And being that it is a Japanese practice, how do you think that the culture over time has influenced the way that you go about your practice? The essence has not changed, despite the times changing. One big pillar of the spirituality of Japan is that we do not confront, but respect others. Our spirituality is to value others, no matter what happens or how times are changing. The practice of Aikido is one way to express this. This is really, really nice. So if you get close to the lights, they light up and then they interact with the other ones. Supposedly. Something like that. Alright guys, so today is very exciting because I have Takuya, who is the owner of Takuya Angel, which is a, uh, a Harajuku uh, fashion brand. Uh, he came all the way from Kobe, uh, which we really appreciate because we're currently in Tokyo. Um, and I have so many questions to ask him because fashion is a very important thing to the Japanese people, but it's also a very important thing for the international community. Um, and that gets me thinking is where did you draw your inspiration to start your brand? What was it that initiated that for you? I like Japanese tradition and also anime and manga. So I mix these things in my fashion. So it was, a cum it was it was accumulation of, I think, your hobbies that really got you put together and initiated this interest. 
I used to have my own store in Harajuku for 10 years from 2000 to 2010 and I used to live in Harajuku as well. I talked a lot to my customers. Tokyo is a big city but Harajuku is basically the only place in the whole city where you can wear this kind of really extravagant style. In other places, people would point at you and this is more difficult. Harajuku was the only place where this was possible, so that's why I tried my best there. The Japan explorers made their way around various parts of this beautiful country and we learned so many new things about the Japanese culture, the traditions and the values. And we made our way also through natural landscapes that had to offer so much. The G classes enabled us to really explore different parts of this country. And in that process we captured various aspects of how beautiful, dynamic, and changing this culture is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog series. Be sure to leave your comments. We'd love to hear your feedback. Until then, Japan Explorers out. Peace.